hello hey, everybody. everybody. We're hello, so glad to see you today. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream today. We were just saying we weren't sure where Carol was, and then she hey. appeared. Hey, <laughs> appeared. Oh, and Amy's here too. Hi, Amy. Hey. It's so nice hey, Amy. to see you. Good right. morning, everyone. I'm going to move. Look at that. I, okay, this is my first time where I'm like moving stuff around and I'm super excited. <laughs> Amy, why do you look like Caro today? <laughs> because I'm using the avatar that Caro gifted me. So that's her art style. Very nice. nice. Very nice. Good job. BC said, oh, that's right. I knew Caro was going to come right at the last second because you had another stream you were doing today. What was that all about? Um, I was doing Trees and Tarot with Zara Hoffman, so it's kind of like writing sprints, but there's like a tarot theme to it. And she uses um, she uses an app. Hopefully my phone won't die before I can tell you the name of it. She uses forest. the forest. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> she, use, she uses the forest app, which basically like stops you from using your phone, so that way you don't become distracted, which I think is a great idea, except if you have the internet in front of you. But... It's got a, like a lot of fun trees in it, and I thoroughly enjoy it. We get to geek out over tarot cards, which is, as many people know, my guilty pleasure in life. So, that is awesome. I just realized I moved my laptop over to my. I was on my treadmill earlier, and I moved moved my laptop on my uh, over to my desk, and I just realized, wait, I didn't bring a keyboard. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me just grab that really fast so I can actually type stuff. So. Uh, Let's do super quick intros because there are seven of us today. I'm super excited that the, whole group, that the whole gang is together. Hello, Savvy. Hello. I'm loving the pink hair. It's sort of like a Thank pinky you. and a little purple. Wait, hold on. I'm going to make you big for a second so we can oh, all back. Thanks. Yeah, so I, we can all I, back in its glory. I dyed it two different colors. I use like purple dye and magenta dye so that I could have like uh, dimensional colors to it you know i love it, it was fun. <laughs> i was like i was like is that a hat or your hair <laughs> <laughs> it's her hair i think it's awesome it's super Thank cute you. and creative and i love that you did two different colors with it because it like makes it like pop. thanks yeah. all right let's do super speedy intros and then we are going to say hi to all of our good friends that we have in the chat today and then we are going to get started with some writing sprints carol why don't you start us off today hi my name is carol brown i'm a fantasy author and the owner of mad raptor productions i'm here today to actually work on my novella for my Faye black pen name uh called fine print and it is a story about a demoness that can't capture a human soul and all the hijinks that go up with that. I just got it back from the developmental edit and I am ready to curl up into a ball on the floor. So, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Well, we feel you with that for sure. Uh, I think everybody has uh, been there once or twice in our, in our time. Robert, welcome today. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, my channel is The Story Detective and we analyze everything story oriented under a Sherlockian microscope, break it down and uh, look at craft so we can make it more accessible for everyone. And today I'm actually going to be working on some art. So I'm at my art table in a different location. So this is something people never see. I've got my little spidey on my art lamp. <laughs> and hold on, I, gotta, I had to make that big so we can all see how awesome it is. Which is fitting because I'm going to be working on a Spider-Man drawing. I'm going to start some preliminary stuff today. Oop, he's going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> I love awesome. that. It's cool, to, it's cool to see you in your little art environment. That's kind of awesome. Super awesome. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you for being here. Speaking of awesome, Amy, awesome buddy. Tell us about your channel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it exists in the void that is non-existence. It's doing a really great over there in that niche though. It's spectacular. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm an SEO consultant who uh, just so happen to make friends with a handful of streamers, YouTubers, author tubers. And so that's why I'm here, and that's why I don't have a channel. So thank you for having me on today. I am going through the inventory for a certain store, Robert, wink, 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 wink. <laughs> and uh, I should be finishing that up today. 
So, well, that's awesome. What's, what's, that site, what's that site called again? That Grievous Lair Lightsabers. Grievous, yeah, Grievous Lair Lightsabers. I believe we have a link to that right down in the description below, just in case you were checking. But I, I'm guessing Caro is already on it. All right, BC Brown, before we move um, move over to Doll, BC Brown wants to know what your mic is, Robert. This is the uh, AKG Lyrica microphone. It looks very old fashioned oh, radio, but it, uh, it looks cool and it works great. So <laughs> I super love that. That is awesome. I have a cool blue snowball mic, which also has a little bit of that vintage vibe, although not it's not nearly as cool as yours, but I never use it. I always think I'm going to use it and then I forget and I don't use it. So, all right. I'm glad, I'm glad to see you like really, you know, doing the full thing, <laughs> the full, the full on Robert. Doll Cecil Bruno is here today. Yay. Doll, Yay. tell us a little bit about you and your channel. Hello there humans. I am Doll Cecil Bruno, a partially blind own voice is also, also known as the ace from space. I write primarily sci-fi, but I want to be a multi-genre uh, multi author with my short stories, and I also write some poetry. And this month, I am uploading daily videos on my channel, and I'm documenting where I stand at the moment with my projects and where I want to move forward to. Yeah. That is awesome. I love a daily vlog. Speaking of vlogs... Yeah. Hello, Michelle Schusterman. Hello. We're so glad you're here today. Yeah. Uh, everybody loves your vlogs. Tell us a little about you and your channel. That's the queen of vlogs. Uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. I don't think I deserve that title. <laughs> Thank you. Just do the oh. wave and own it. Just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, thank you. Um, I'm Michelle. I am a middle grade and young adult author. My writing channel is vlogs <laughs> and writing workshop and traditional publishing chat. <laughs> Very nice. Savvy's here today. Yay! Savvy, tell us about your uh, your channel. Oh, sorry, I missed the last two weeks of streaming. I was taking some time off, but I'm happy to be back today. I'm Savvy from the channel Savvy Writes Books. My channel is about writer and small business owner life. I'm the owner of the small business Forever Home Friends, producing books and stuffed animals about real rescue dogs. And on today's stream, I'm going to be working on an article for a magazine that is due to later today. So I need to finish it. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. <laughs> Yay. Well, I am Lisa Daly. This is my channel. I'm a traditionally published author. And on my channel, we talk about uh, how to write a book you're super proud of and get it published. And today I am working on a book that I'm super proud of that I hope to get published this year. Well, I won't get it published this year, but I hope to sell it this year. Uh, and it is, I'm really excited because I had really changed up my uh, goals this year and my sort of theory of how I was gonna organize my day because last year I was not super productive and I needed to change that. And so I'm now on day three of my word count like goals and I'm super, super excited because it's happening. So yay. Also, I got a new, oh, you can't see, oh, you can't see it. I got a new whiteboard. Wait, can I make it happen? Ooh. Look at that. Super fancy over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. I'm yay. about to get on you. I'm about to get on you, Lisa. You're you about to get on You were plenty productive. It just wasn't the productive you wanted. <laughs> well, that's true. I was like a hamster is really productive. Just moving and going and not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Did we forget that you made a thousand subs? Did we forget that? Yeah. Did we forget that? That's, that's like a huge production. accomplishment. Yeah, that's yeah. a big deal. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't I, make me shower you in compliments. I will do it. <laughs> no. I I feel like, but you know how it is. Like I tend to set pretty lofty goals, and when I do not accomplish them, it frustrates me. And last year really frustrated me. But I took off the month of December, and I am like so rare and to go right now. Yeah. Like. So rare to go. So I'm very excited about that. So let's say hi to our friends in the chat who are also rare to go. And then we will get rolling with the five minute warm up and then do some big sprints later on. Joanne Ninja Head is here. Yay. We're so glad you're here today. Michael's here. Hello, Michael. Nihilus Geek is here with a happy new year. Happy new year to everybody. 
Super glad Michael coming back with that. Devin's here. It's not a it's not a stream until Devin makes somebody snort laugh. All right, good job, Devin. We're very <laughs> glad to see you today. Laurel's here. Hey, hey, Laurel. Hey. We're so glad you're here. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what this means. Uh, Michael says I have my window opened. I just heard your howdy. Are they closed? Are you guys closed? I, I want to know. I want to. I want inside the joke. All right. BC Brown says Carol was all over Author Tube today, and she's like, "What up, writing weirdos?" Carol Tube. I am all on board with that. BC Brown loves all the Carol <laughs> avatars. The one she did for me is awesome. Me too. Wait, hold on. I think if I what would Carol what would Carol Tube even look like? Like just <laughs> people getting together and calling out bullshit. Like I think it's a lot more real than people want to deal with. I'm sorry, no Carol Tube here. Uh, I would I would subscribe to Carol Tube. Georgie's here. Everybody loves Georgie. Hello, Georgie. Georgie. We're so glad you made it. BC Brown is very happy to see Savvy Yay. and Georgie and everybody else. Cat Leo Writing is here. Hello, Cat. We're so glad you're here. Ooh, Norma's here. Norma is a new follower. Love you and all your valued advice. Writing my first book this year. Welcome, Norma. We are so glad you made it today. We are here every Wednesday from 11 to 1 Eastern. So I hope you will be part of our regular crowd. I am super excited that you're here. Thank you so much for being here today. And also for all the really nice compliments. I'm blushing. Ooh. All right. Uh, JC is here. How are we all doing? I think we're all doing pretty well. Don't know how productive I'm going to be because I'm still laying in bed. Oh, no. That sucks. On the heating pad. I hope you feel better and that you have a really nice deep bathtub that you can soak in. All right. Devin's here, and he said, which we already knew, and he says, welcome to Norman. Norma. I can't read today. Good Lord. Norma. It is Caro Tube. You're messing up names. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Norma, you should feel honored. The first time we screw up your name, that just means you're one of us. Yay. Hi, uh, Plum Report is here. Hello. We're so glad you've made it today. Norma says thanks to BC Brown Books. JC just wanted to hang out with us. You guys are so sweet. Everybody's here today. L.E. Vera. Hello. Rating in from Zara's channel. Hello again, Carol Brown. Also, hi to Detective Bat Sith. Long time no <laughs> talk. It has been a while, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. I know I've seen you around on other streams, but I think this is the first time uh, that you've been on my stream. So thanks for being here and welcome. I'm so glad you made it today. All right. Michael says, already said. Setting the style trends for 2021, Savvy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. And BC Brown, all the infamous ball curling stage of the editing pets care of Sky Sky is here to say hi, hi and give us a like. Thank you very much. Joanne Ninja Hen loves Spider Man. <laughs> Who doesn't love Spider Man? All right. Can I just say something? It was like 75 degrees the other day. Today it's like 37. I had my little space heater going and now it's like the tropics in there. So hold on. All right. I'm back. There we go. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Let's see. Very nice Spider-Man. BC Brown's going to be switching tracks for this stream, designing graphics for OBS. The partner finally figured out the damn thing enough for me to maybe use it. Oh, good. Okay. Sky's going back to homeschooling. Bye. Thank you for being here today. Debbie's here editing the Wolf Moon script today. Ooh, that sounds good. What else are you guys working on? Everybody in the chat, let us know what you're working on. We just lost Amy. Oh, no, the gremlin. Okay. Caitlin is reminding us to hydrate or to hydrate or dietrate. Thank you, Caitlin. We appreciate it. Welcome to the stream today. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind. I'm just on like, hey, we love your mic. There we go. BC Brown giving Amy some crap over not having a channel yet. <laughs> Georgie loves the hair, Savvy. She has a mix of purples, pinks, and orange for Dimension. Ooh. I love it. I was thinking, should I put some orange in it? I thought that might mm. add something, too. I like that idea. 
I think we all know that Georgie knows all. So uh, I, I would take that <laughs> advice. That's awesome. A thousand subs. Thank you, BC Brown. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. You guys are so awesome. Hi, Quiet Life. Welcome to the stream. I think this is the first time you've been on. I have also seen you around. So everybody followed Caro here. My goodness. Caro, you're like the Pied Piper of AuthorTube. Oh, am I? That's scary, guys. <laughs> yeah. Right? There we go. Uh, BC Brown, drinking tacos, books, and writing, calling out bullshit. That is Caratube. I told you guys I would sign up for that in a second. All right. We have lots and lots of early subscribers for Caratube. Everybody's down for Caratube. Uh, JC, we all hope you feel better. Okay, Michael says, yes, we're a thin shouting distance, but only because sound travels farther in Canada. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Violet followed Kara over from Zara's stream. Also already loving it. Oh, thank you. Welcome. We're so glad you're here today. And Norma feels honored. This feels like a really awesome time to do our five-minute warm-up sprint. Five-minute warm-up. Yay! <laughs> so you guys, while we are doing our five minutes, if you have not already told us in the chat what you are going to be working on today, please let us know, because I, um, I always like to know. Carol is like super nosy. She loves to know this stuff. But we want to give you guys a little cheer on. I say that only because she always says that she's not really nosy. All right. No, that's a total lie. I'm nosy. <laughs> I'm super nosy. I just keep what I find out to myself. Ah, that's true. You're a good secret keeper. All right, here we go, everybody. We have our exciting five minute timer up. We will, oop, look at that. It always starts right without me. Okay, guys, so here's the deal we're going to warm up our little fingers. We're going to have some water. We're going to stretch our little arms, and then we are going to get all warmed up so we'll be ready to kill it today all right guys here we go we're starting in three two one <laughs>
We're back. <laughs> Except Lisa's still muted. Lisa, you're <laughs> muted. You really <laughs> are becoming a caro. You oh. self mute. You've misspelled names. Like you just call somebody out for some bullshit right now, and you've covered all the bases. I have, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're all becoming caro here. I'm multitasking, guys. I'm multitasking. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a spreadsheet open right now? Right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I do. This is a tarot <laughs> tube right here. It's all tarot tube. This is it, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, apparently there was a bone sighting that I missed. I'm very sad to hear about that. Well, he came in for some kisses. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, so you guys in the chat, we're going to go to you first. I want to know uh, what everybody is working on today. And then we'll go around the panel uh, for everybody who has not already mentioned what they're working on today. Nihilus Geek is writing a short story that is due Sunday. Good luck on that. Uh, what's that. What kind of short story is it? What genre? Is it another what? horror? Because I want to read that. Mm, all right. Good, good. Uh, let's see. Ellie Vera says, yes, I'm working on, working from home. I managed, finally managed to catch the lives. Have been using the replays. Good for you. I will say that before I started hosting live streams, I actually did the same thing like where I went to a number of live streams that had happened at a different time, you know, that had already, um, that were already over and I was watching the replays. And it is funny how, like, I think because of the chit chat and the timer and the live chat, it really does still like mostly feel like you're there. I mean, you obviously have a little less interactivity, but, uh, but it does, you, it does serve as a pretty uh, good substitute if you can't make the live. So thanks for being here. We appreciate it. All right. Violet's working on some fan fiction because she can. I like. I love your avatar. This looks like a woman who can, right? She can do any freaking thing she wants to, and don't you forget it. <laughs> All right, Norma. All right, working on a romance. Cur current title, which could change, is Chance to Love. That is awesome. I too am working on a little romance, a little rom com. All right. Uh, Ellie's on the clock, so I'll be doing some data analysis on the stream if you don't mind. We don't mind. You can just come hang out with us. We're glad to be here. Uh, Plum is writing a review and working on finishing cover details. <laughs> what is that noise? Is that? Okay. Uh, all right, and so uh, Plum's working on a review, finishing cover details for the hardcover edition of my book. Good job. Look at you. Oh, StreamYard jump. Okay, who's sanding a table right now? That's Amy. She's moving her tool notebooks around. All right. Here, gonna, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, friend. Uh, she called you out. That It really is Caro, too, today. Maya's here working on my writing plan for the year. Can I just take like a brief segue to talk about the boozy panorama? That was super fun. We got a lot done. And um, usually we do them like the last weekend of the month. And this year we decided because of the holidays that we were, or this month we decided to do it like the first weekend, but we're also doing it the last weekend. So if you did not make last Sunday's boozy panorama, the next one will be... Ooh, let me check my let me check my planner here. Thirtieth, <laughs> it's the thirtieth of January, eight p.m. Eastern on this channel. So thanks so much. Plum yet yeah, hell's yeah, Caro tube. There we go. Well, working on some oops, flash fiction. Wait, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can you guys? Did you guys hear what just happened there? No. Okay. No. So somehow I accidentally opened iTunes and inexplicably it started blasting Dancing Queen. Like completely, completely randomly. Oh, sorry, <laughs> so, and it was like super loud. And all of a sudden I'm like, what? All right. Like, so, oh, you teleported into a retro movie or something. 
I know. Well, let me say that I often send Dancing Queen videos back and forth with my friend uh, and fellow author, Joe Clifford, because one time he was in Tampa, he had done the daytime show uh, with me, which is the show that I uh, usually do every week, pre-pandemic. And he had done the show uh, and, uh, and we were going to lunch at this fantastic barbecue place. And I don't know how we started talking about ABBA, but uh, the horror geek is not a fan of ABBA. Yet I love him anyway, but he is not the fan. He's not a fan of of ABBA, and so Joe Clifford and I just are like belting Dancing Queen, like at the top of our lungs while driving down, right? While driving to the barbecue place, and so since that time, which was like a year and a half ago, we now will often send each other like videos. Uh, with just random dancing queen stuff. And so he sent me like this really cool, like kind of unplugged him playing the guitar version of dancing queen was, was really awesome. I should maybe post that sometime, but he'd probably kill me. Anyway, that's it. So that's the, that was what made me think of that. I have no idea why that happened. Yesterday I was listening to ocean sounds. ABBA was totally random. Okay, Joanne Ninja Hen is working on anti toast, the VRMMORPG. Is there another way to say that? I know we talked about what it meant. <laughs> okay. Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Multi, uh, multi okay. online player role. Yeah, it's role playing game. Yeah, so think think Ready Player One when he puts the headset on and then he goes into the game. That's what that is. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, Plum uh, says Carol helped me with an element of my book cover design, so I'm forever in Carol's debt. What yeah. she's not saying is that it's in the arc stage right now, right, sis? If you got a link to that, you should probably like send it to us so we can help. Yeah, you throw way. it up, throw it up in the chat. Absolutely, send it to Carol if you've got it. She can do it. Or hold on, I'll just make you a. Can I make you a wrench from here? Nope, I cannot. I will. I'll make you a wrench on um, on the next um, sprint. Right after I threw my sticky note. Plum wrench. All right, I'll make you a wrench for the stream today, and then you can post your link. Alexis is here. Must go homeschool child. Wish me luck and patience. We're sending you patient, peaceful, teachery vibes, honey. We know. We know it's a tough deal. Oh, look what I wrote. If you're looking for Robert's cool new website, you'll find it right here after the link. It's never too early to bookmark. All right, BC said, it's in the description too. Uh, BC says, Carol is an amazing, helpful friend on AuthorTube. We've all benefited from her knowledge. That is super true. What is happening? Stop praising me. <laughs> all right, fine. Nihilus Geek got 78 words. Yay, Nihilus Geek, we're so proud of you. Good job. All right, Spence says, hello, lovelies. Hello, Spence, we're super glad. Michael is not good at warming up. That's okay, we're gonna do our first 20 minute in just a few minutes. Writing my first fantasy dystopian novel. Caitlin, that's so awesome. That is absolutely fantastic. Congratulations, good work. All right, Spence, working on a bunch of admin stuff, draft two of the vampire Christmas romance outline. Super excited yeah. about that. Oh <laughs> Nihilus Geek, post-apocalyptic, about a thousand words is the target goal. 78 of them are already down. I'm pretty sure that's the 78 he got in the five-minute sprint. We should make this man happy and do a 20-minute sprint. JC is going to be getting some reading done. Michael says, woohoo to Caitlin. Very nice. Stacy, just working on genealogy around getting lunch for me, my kids doing laundry, getting one child off the bus, and getting the other ready for private tutoring. We are so glad that you are hanging out with us today. <coughs> Ooh, and StreamYard jumped. Violet got 145 words for the little sprint. Good job. Devin says, for more streams, check out the daily playlists on Devin's channel. Good job there. Very nice. And <laughs> Michael says, it's nice to see that you've taken up carpentry for 2021, Amy. <laughs> okay. I got to keep my hands busy. I always got to be doing something. Right. I think that I is do actually build my own bookshelves. Do you? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah my I dad have... helps me. And um, I've got like, they're sturdy. Like it takes us both, <laughs> both of us to carry it back into the house because he lets me get the like 
two by eight. So not wow. carpentry in general. I do make my own bookshelves. That is fancy. And as a bookie person, I think make the ability to make your own bookshelves is super, super duper handy. All right, you guys. So I'm going to use that excitement to transition us into a brand new 20 minute sprint. Oh my gosh, me and the sound. Who would like to take us Hi. out? Okay, doll is ready to roll. Good. <laughs> my video just uploaded, so I'm ready to work on my flash Woo! fiction. Okay. <laughs> okay, so three, get ready to sprint in a three and two and one and sprint.
All right. There we go, everybody. Let's see. I guess I should. We probably... are back. We are back. Hold on. <laughs> I have to stop the screen. It's just going to keep going. It doesn't care. It's like, yeah, I'm going. Uh, great. Let's see. Is there anybody I need? I still need to unmute Amy. There we go. Oh, no, she muted herself. Okay, we're good. Michelle, did I mute you? Yes. All right. Hello and welcome back, everybody. Very glad. Very glad. Uh, I hope everybody had a really good productive sprint. It occurred to me later that we did not run around, run around our little massive group. Okay. <laughs> so it it occurred to me that we did not go around and have everybody say what they were working on. Although some of some of us kind of said it at various times. So let's just super quick go around and talk about what everybody's working on today. I want to start with you, Michelle. Me. I, I hope I know what you're working on today. What are you working on today? I'm working on my middle grade fantasy today. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> awesome. How's it going? Really good. I'm doing the zero draft and I think I got about 600 words in that sprint. Um, I'm on the second chapter. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's super fun. Yay. I'm so proud of you. That is super, super awesome. Story Detective, what are you working on today? And how'd you do in the sprint? I didn't do badly. I did some research. I'm working on a Spider Man drawing and I looked up some reference material and the array of costumes that they've tried to change Spider Man's suit into, which they're variations on a theme, but they have the Spider Verse. So they have enough appeal for various audiences. But Spider-Man was kind of already, you know, how many costumes today do we see the piping down the arm? Spider-Man already had this sort of thing. So now they have piping on the piping and outlines around the spider. And you have to draw that from all these different angles and figure a way to wrap that around the anatomy. And it's, no, this is going to be the classic Spider-Man. <laughs> Good, that's awesome. That is super awesome. Savvy, what are you working on today and how'd you do in the sprint? Uh, sprint was pretty good. I'm working today on an article for the magazine that I work for. We're writing, uh, I'm writing about how um, this like virtual marching band that's being put together from hundreds of different colleges to uh, premiere at the, the national or the, the football national championship game for college in cool. a week. So there's like a, um, so I've been working on that. And um, during the, I interviewed like 10 people the past two days. So today I've been uh, combing through everyone's interviews, pulling out quotes, putting them in an outline. And then hopefully by our last sprint today, I can actually be writing out the article instead of pasting quotes into where they go. Well, that sounds super, super cool. That is fantastic. Carol mm -hmm. Brown, what are you working on today and how'd you do in the last sprint? Uh, I am working on the first pass of uh, editing fine print, which is my story about the demoness that can't capture soul. And the first thing I usually do in the first pass is I highlight all the dialogue on the page. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I like that visual um, and you can do it like in word and have it do it for you. But there's just something about when I do it by hand, I just kind of like, it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have that tactile experience with what you're working on anyway. Right. Yeah. Uh, good. All right, cool. And doll, how about you? I think you told um, this, but go ahead. No, I, that was just one part. I uploaded the video, so the video is up. I shared it in some in a few places, not many, because meh, it's just my journal. I, I don't think I need to share it everywhere. But yeah, I shared, and I am going through. I passed my flash fiction that I had on Evernote. I passed it onto a Word document. I have it formatted now, um, and I will share it with some people, maybe the next sprint, or I don't know. But I mean, I'm I'm going through it to see if I can improve anything else. But yeah, I have a three-part flash fiction that I finished that my self edits, and I'm just doing a double check to see if I can improve something else. Awesome, fantastic, Amy. What are you working on today, and how'd you do in the last sprint? I did really great. I am working on the inventory for a certain shop, and I just reached a stopping point. 
Yay. Now I can pass it along my notes, all that good stuff. And now I get to move on to the really, really tediously, exhaustingly fun part of categories and tags and all that So <laughs> Wow, that does sound fun. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm glad you I'm glad you love it. That's probably why you're so good at your job. Uh, you. I'm working on my uh, contemporary romance rom-com and uh, I had a really good sprint. I actually got uh, about 480 words, which I'm actually super excited about because I was I started a new chapter and sometimes it's hard like takes me a few minutes to kind of get rolling on that. So I'm feeling pretty good with that. So, all right, fantastic. What did everybody do in the chat? Let's, we have a, a few comments uh, that we did not get to before we left. So we're gonna get to a couple of those, but you guys let us know what you're working on if you haven't already and how you did on the last sprint. Okay, Maya was literally listening to ABBA Dancing Queen before the last sprint and now it's an ABBA day. Joanne Ninja Hen says that not being an ABBA fan is certainly a reason for divorce. I could not agree more. <laughs> uh, Laurel doesn't mind if we play her theme song every time she makes a comment. Very nice, good job. BC Brown's partner, not a fan of Journey, gets so annoyed when I belt it, so I send him Journey clips and videos often. <laughs> Uh, well, me and my best friend, me and my best friend, love the song "Don't Stop Believing," uh -huh. and so whenever we hear it, if we send an audio clip to each other of it. Like, <laughs> I, I've even gone so far as to like I could hear it in a in a Kmart, and I'm like, "Where's the speaker? Where's the speaker? Where's the speaker?" And I went and followed the wall, put a speaker on the wall, and held my phone up so she could hear it too. Oh we send gosh. each other audio clips of it whenever we hear it. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Uh, JC says, Caro, it's time to realize your awesomeness. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, BC Brown loves the daily playlist on Devin's channel. It makes a day of streaming so easy. If you don't have a link to Devin's channel, uh, you can find one in the description below. Uh, and I'll try and link that in the chat as well. All right, guys. Joanne says, great idea. And then me. Oh, look who's here. Hold on just one second. Bop, bop, bop. Dream yard jump. Sorry. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Morgan's here. Hello, hey, Morgan. Morgan. We're so glad you made it Good today. Good to see you. Plum cannot believe 2020 is over and we're finally getting into 2021. I'm like, good riddance. I can't. I even got a shirt. It says the weirdest wait, year. Wait, wait, hold on. I have to make you big. There we go. And there we go. Yes, the weirdest year in history. That is the truth, isn't it? Oh my gosh. All right, lots of highs back and forth. Violet got 423 words on the last sprint. Very nice. Good job, Violet. <laughs> BC got distracted by a new idea for videos, had to jot down a few words, so 612 words. Just a, just a mere 612. Very nice work, BC. Try not to be too sad about your 612 words, which is totally awesome. Okay, Spence got dressed, stole husband's office chair, made today's to-do list to be entirely office focused. Good for you, look at that. The mail is at Caro's, or there is a squirrel, or a leaf blew across the yard. You know who we're missing today? Where is CO Savvy, is she alive? <gasps> yeah, that's Holy right. Geez. We don't have our. I just had like, why is it off today? We I know we're missing her. We didn't have our special name. I don't think we can end the stream until we have a special name. Someone might have to wake her up at her house. Bar, I hope she's okay. Barbara Howard's here. Hello, Barbara. All right, JC is here. Hello, JC. Oh, I've said that like eighteen times. We've had fifteen conversations. I really am not generally this spacey, but today is just a bad day. Uh, JC is going to accomplish something today. She is out of bed, though, so we're excited about that. That is a big accomplishment all by itself. Because I knew you're not feeling well today. All right. Oh my gosh, Streamyard. Lots of people say hi to Barbara. Judy Marcellus here. Hello. Laurel loves to hear the Spider Man talk, as do I. I'm a fan of the Spider Man talk. Uh, full house today. Yes, right? It's just, <laughs> I mean, 
I'm excited about it that everybody was able to be here today. I think it's pretty cool. Everybody's saying hi back and forth. Laurel ate a cookie in the last sprint, opened her laptop, did a thing on Canva, looked at the flash, flash fiction for long enough to think it isn't salvageable. Oh, have another cookie and then look at it again. <laughs> Sometimes that that helps me. If I if I'm not happy with the work, I just have more cookies. All right, Ellie, Vera, just plowing along along slowly on the data. Jeannie Marcella was on the treadmill for the last sprint. Nice. All right, here I'm curious about this. Treadmill desk or treadmill just listening? Dying to know. All right, share, share, share. Ain't how do I say this? Angel re and just Angelry, welcome, Angelry. We're super glad you're here today. In the last sprint, I ate breakfast, opened my sketchbook for sketchbook practice for the next sprint. Ooh, good job. Devin ad added Savvy's sleepover stream to today's playlist on my channel. Ooh, good work, yay. yay. Sleepover stream is back today. I apologize for uh, not ha hosting it the past two weeks. I was taking time off and it was weird. I think there was so, like, was it just me or did it seem like there were a ton of streams going on in December? Like, there even will people, always be. Yeah. But it's a thing now. The community is big enough that there will always be a stream somewhere, someone streaming something. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you, Devin, for sort of keeping that all together. We all really appreciate it. Barbara Howard doing some beta reading and podcast work. Devin drooling over the puppy as always. Ooh. Spence has given us a link to Devin's playlist for today. Thank you very much, Spence. Carol, uh, BC loves your shirt. Devin says thanks. And Michael says there's a CO shaped hole in this stream. Hold on, I want to do a screenshot of that because I'm going to send it to her later. <laughs> All right, everybody smile. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> all right there we go yes that is super true uh bc try to take a stab at the st stream need we need co i know we do we really need her absolutely absolutely all right jc says way to multitask getting exercise while hanging out with writer friends right that is absolutely the best okay Jeannie says yes uh, Plum Report, I did a talk to text with my phone the other day on my treadmill and wrote a chapter for a new story I'm brainstorming. Look at you, everybody's on the treadmill. That is well awesome. Done. I know, right? Super nice. I have. I am not a person who, I do not like to exercise. I do not like exercise equipment. I bought a treadmill and a treadmill desk in order to, because Carol loved it because Jewel Allen, our friend who does the rapid release, who came on uh, the show a couple, I don't know, months ago uh, and talked to all of us. She like, you know, she like wrote her 8,000 books a week on the treadmill. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. I freaking love it. Love it. Oh my gosh. All right. Nihilist Geek. Best-selling doll, Savvy, Amy, Brown, Jones, Schusterman, with two for a day. Thank you, Nyla. <laughs> Yay, Very good. Whew. Thank goodness we can all go on now. Okay, you guys. You know what? I muted Amy because of the carpentry work. Oh, no. She muted herself. Okay, good. I'm still so here. <laughs> I was concerned that I had that we had just gone through that whole entire blah, 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 and did not um, did not have you unmuted the whole time, which, as we all know, is something that I would be very likely to do. So, all right, you guys, let's get ready for another sprint. I'm feeling super productive today. How is everybody else ready? Yes. Let's see who wants to give us a little pep talk before the sprint. Anybody? And then you're looking at me. <laughs> Carol, I feel like that's like such a special talent. Is the special talent that you have. All right, all right guys. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I'll okay. do the pep talk. All okay. right, guys. It's a it's a new year, new us, new keyboard, new book, right? So we gotta make sure that we rock this to the best that it can be. We gotta give the final finger to 2020 by being the very best that we can be in 2021. So look at your keyboard, look at those keys and say to yourself, I'm gonna write all the motherfucking words today. Say it with me. <laughs> I'm gonna write all the motherfucking words today. Good, now we're gonna start in three, 
two, maybe one, go. <laughs> Slow timer. <laughs>
Uh, we are back. We are back. Hello. All right, everybody. Ooh. I have to turn all these things on. So I was actually stopped by the timer because I was like so into what I was working on. So that's good. All right. Fantastic. Very nice. How did everybody do in the sprint? Um, editing that flash fiction thing, seeing how can I improve it. But uh, I also got feedback and thank you for the feedback. Thank you very much for that. Uh, which uh, I think this thing has potential now, now that I know it's not just an awful dream that I had. Yes, I write my dreams into stories. Everybody knows that. Um, so I'm editing and hopefully I can improve the whole thing. Apparently, uh, le, le, le. Apparently, the last part of it is very good. So now I need to put the other two parts up to standards. Yay. Very nice. Very, very nice. So Mary joined us today. Hello, Mary. We're so hey, glad Mary. to see you. Mary says, I'm working from home today. Thought I'd hang out here between students. Devin, always good for laugh, says you have a student on each side of you. And Mary says, that's usually how it goes with my job. Better Days is here. Hello. We're so glad you're here. Very nice to see you. BC Brown says hello. Judy Marcella, landscapers with blow machines are loitering outside my window. So noisy. I almost don't even hear them anymore because it's like a constant. If you live in Florida, there's always a blower going. That's true. Uh, Devin, I had a wood chipper outside of mine yesterday. Very annoying. That would be terrible. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Um, ha, it's like a synchronized dancer walking in unison as we work. I feel like I missed something. What? Oh, she's talking about the leaf blowers. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Nihilus Geek got 280 is taking a, a break for dinner. Very, very nice. Good job, Nihilus Geek. Thank you for being here today. Jeannie Marcella says, it's all good for research. My character is a landscaper in the modern stories that's cool i really like the beach stop timer oh i'm so glad fantastic violet is here. it's my favorite i made it but it's still my favorite timer. <laughs> all right uh violet says 364 very nice and making some food very very good job angel loves the ending sound on that timer Thank you. Very nice. Cool. Right? It's very like perky. Don't you feel like, yeah, I know I always feel like I have to do like a little something, little samba or something afterwards. Okay. See you, Savvy! Yay! Oh, Yay! Yay! Savvy, we were very worried about you because you're always here. We we're like, how can we go on without our special name? <laughs> a little picture for you, which I will I will send to you on um, on Instagram later. So I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for the name, the official Daily Brown Detective, awesome buddy, Doll Schusterman Savvy, and I hope you feel better. I'm so yeah. sorry. Get well soon. And Devin says, Savvy is alive. <laughs> we're very glad. We're very, very glad. People oh, were coming God. up with the names in your absence. <laughs> I know. I know. We we so missed you, Theo Savvy, and we were very worried that you were not feeling well. So I'm glad that you popped in. At least we know you're alive. I'm sorry you're sick, though. So I hope you feel better. We're sending you good, healthy vibes. There we go. All right. That should work. A little at, here's extra, but only if you need it. Don't take too much. Okay. <laughs> JC turned on computer, took a pain pill. Carol's pep talk did the trick and got me motivated. Glad to hear it. And Carol's pep talks are pretty magical. Everybody is super excited that CEO Savvy is here. Caitlin says, I've got to head out for a bit. Thank you all so much for the productive and energetic morning. Bye, Caitlin. We're so glad you made it today. CEO, Michael's very sad that you're not feeling well. So is Ellie Vera, JC, Devin. Everybody loves you here, girl. Everybody. All right. Oh, Angel did some sketches of hand movement. That's supposed to be really hard. I should, instead of just speculating, I should ask the artists among us. Robert, hand yeah. movement hard? Um, it, 
Depends. What are we discussing here? I, I lost track for a minute. Oh, uh, sorry. We're talking That's about crazy. hand shapes. Yeah. So Angel oh. said, said did some oh, yeah. sketches of and hand movement and some of my brother's basketball paraphernalia. And I was saying that I've always heard that drawing hands and hand movement is really challenging, but I am hands not. Hands are really artist. hard. Yeah. Hands are something that a lot of artists have difficulty with, even after they've done it for years, because fingers can look very stiff. There's so many joints and articulation to foreshorten. It's uh, it's an art all onto its own. <laughs> yeah. Carol, I, have to, I have to take pictures of my hand if I want a certain movement and then use yeah. that as a reference. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Otherwise, otherwise, artists like to cheat a lot by basically using this generic shape where you've got the thumb, the middles, and then the index. And then what they'll do is they'll rearrange that however they want so that way they don't have to draw the joints. They do that oh. a lot. Yeah. Do you? All right. That's good. Who knew? Who knew? I found myself looking at my hands as you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're all like, uh, Laurel fell asleep during this sprint, so that was useful. You know what? It's very important to nap, so it's good that you're taking care of yourself in the new year. Hashtag self-care. Good job. All right. BC oh. says. It's not me this time. It's yeah, cute. that's Chewy. He's going wild. I'll mute. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Vera heading off to do some other stuff in a bit. Thank you so much for all the thank you so much for the stream. Barbara is stuck in emails. We, and we became Caro Caro to Savvy now has Chewy barking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right? All right, and Barbara is wishing uh, CO feels better soon. Well, we have, we're at a crossroads, people. What do you think? Should we go ahead and do one more sprint? I'm feeling super productive today, but I don't want to burn anybody out. What do Maybe you guys a think? Do you have a 15-minute timer? I'm positive I must, but you're going to have to gab away for a minute while I track it down. All right, talk, talk. Talk, talk. I'm feeling I'm feeling productive too. I mean, I, I am very happy that the the thing that I wrote. I mean, okay, it came from a horrible dream. It was disgusting. I woke up crying. Everything, and I decided, no, don't let that stop you. In fact, use that horrible thing to create something beautiful. And I thought, okay, I will try. But now that I hear that this thing has potential, I'm feeling like, okay, I can do this. You can do it too. Let's do it. And I'm feeling super productive about it. That, is, that is awesome. That Dreams and that subconscious imagery often connects things for us that we can't often see. That is the truth. I often find, too, if I have a problem that if I sleep on it, like literally take a nap, then yeah. um, then things um, seem a lot more clear later. Mm -hmm. uh, Spence says, hands are weird, but they're one of my favorite things to draw. I use them as a benchmark for my technical skills. Super cool. And CO Savvy says, thanks, everyone. I'm here feeling like death, but had to be here for my peanuts game. We love you. <laughs> Devin wants to know. feel better, CO yeah, Savvy. I'm sorry you. you're feeling sick. Yeah. Devin wants to know which one of us is Pigpen. <laughs> I think we know. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. Plum's got to head out. Thank. Uh, time for my husband and I go to our lunch walk with the dogs. Hugs and dogs. thank you so much for being here today. Hugs back to you. And uh, yeah, I'm glad. I, I'm glad you were here, and I uh, hope to see you next week. All right, you guys. Have I have. Tracked, I have tracked down the 15 minute timer. Woo! I know, right? So we are going to get that rolling. Let's see. Here we go. Checking off all the right boxes, I think. Yay, I've got it. Okay, guys, let me make this big, and then we will get started. So since it's super speedy, I'll do the last one. Here's our last sprint. You guys know what to do to make this one count. Here we go. Three, two, spread.
Okay, everybody, let me get rid of this. All right, there we go. Fantastic. Woo Woohoo, Woo done. Last sprint of the day. Did we get four in? I think we did. Oh, so, yeah. 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 Woo. Right? It really is a new year. <laughs> <laughs> Super, super exciting. All right. CO Savvy says, Devin Cutting, since you made me snort laugh with that comment, I'll be pig pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a stream till somebody snort laughs, thanks to Devin. <laughs> Very good job. Alexis is here, back from homeschooling, and I survived. Yay. 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 Laurel grossed herself out with her own writing. <laughs> That's always a fun accomplishment. That's mm. awesome. I laugh at my own jokes, so I I feel you right there. All right, Mary says, Laurel, I've done that before. Jeannie Marcella is outlining for book three, and Angel Reed got some math practice in for the day. Mary played around with budget planner while waiting for a student. Guess that's productive, sort of. Yeah, it is. You're using your time wisely. Violet got 51 words because food was more important, but I've written 2K today and it's already noon. Look at you go. Well oh, this is really a new year. Yes, it is, right? It feels like a new year. I feel like, you know, obviously some things are still the same. Some things will be different, but I feel like the energy of 2021 is different. And I am going with that. I, I I have a comment about that because 2020, if you look at the year, look at the number, it's 2020, it's quite stagnant, you know, it's like, it's just the same all the time, it's rigid. 2021 is like a step forward, if you know what I mean, if you're counting, it's 2021, it's like it gives you the feel of, you know, it's moving forward. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's how I see it. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. I'll take that. BC Brown finished two OBS overlays. I don't know what that means. Is anybody else? Uh, that's for a uh, streaming service. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. Um, Spence did the journal for today, and now I'm working my sketchbook. Any suggestions? Do you have any suggestions? Christmas vampire. There you go. That's the way to do it. Barbara <laughs> Howard, grocery delivery for the win. Woo, those like, are so fun. I love getting grocery deliveries. <laughs> it's, I know, right? It's one of those things where you go, at first we were like, this is the greatest thing ever. And then now I would really, I'd like to be back out. I'd like to be out of my house, but I'm still grateful for it because Florida is pretty rampant with COVID right now. So I am grateful to people who are braving um, the, the big wide world out there to bring us all groceries and, and make sure the world keeps going. Mm -hmm. JC, I can't believe the stream is nearly over. Thanks, you guys. I am up and moving slowly, but nonetheless, you guys are so awesome. You are awesome, and I hope you feel better. I'm glad you're moving. I think sometimes with back stuff, like you don't want to get out of bed, and it's so painful to get out of bed, but that sometimes it helps kind of loosen things up when you are, when at least when you're able to do that a little bit. So I hope you feel better. There's like back pain is just miserable, miserable. No, good. no bueno. Michael says when someone else is both cooking and doing the dishes, lunch can be had in about 13 minutes. <laughs> True. Very true. I think we made it almost through most of the stream with the exception of the Caro talk about tacos when we were talking about Caro tube. I think we made it mostly through the stream without talking about food. I'm kind of amazed. BC Brown. I love the new quizzical look in the avatar, BC. There's something. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very her, right? Um, there's just something refreshing about January 1. It's psychosomatic, but it does something to revitalize people. I completely agree. I do completely agree. Spence VCR. I missed that. Okay. Uh, Spence says, yesterday I did whales in clouds and a bowl of petunias. That's very whimsical. I love that. Today All is right. National yeah. Technology Day. That could be a sketch idea. Mm -hmm. It yeah. could be. It could be. Hello, Alina. We're so glad you're here today. Thank you for popping in. We appreciate it. 
All right, everybody, before we go, let's do our little outros. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, Michelle today. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Michelle. I'm a middle grade and young adult author and my YouTube channel is writing workshops, traditional publishing chat and vlogs. Very nice. Also, Donaldling Writer says stopping in to hit the like button and say hi. hi. Thank you. Hi, we love you. All right, very nice job. Story Detective Robert Jones. Well, my channel is The Story Detective, and as it suggests, we look at everything story-oriented and we put it under the microscope of a Sherlockian eye, break it down, give it to you in hopefully ways that you haven't thought of before. Nice. Look at that. Look who's been working on his tagline over the break. Very, very nice. Theo Savvy says vampire Christmas romance, I think. I believe you are correct. Good job. JD Marcella says thanks for streaming. Glad to have caught you. Spence says yes. Savvy, tell us about your channel. Hey, everyone. I'm Savvy. My channel is Savvy Writes Books. On my channel, I talk about writing life and small business owner life and also roasting scammers who try to exploit small business owners because there's a lot of bad entrepreneurship advice out there. So we debunk that. And I talk about my time running small business forever home friends. And tonight, as every Wednesday night, I host the Author Sleepover, which uh, is a late night live stream that starts at 9 p.m. Central. And that will be on my channel. And we will write together and have a good time and it's very chill so if you want to join in definitely come stop by that would be great there is a link to savvy's channel down in the description if you are not already subscribed but if you are not subscribed you definitely should be doll cecil runo Thank you very much for having me today. Thank you humans. Thank you friends. I am Del Cecil Runo, the partially blind author who is uh, I'm a partially blind own, own voices author also known as the Ace from Space. I write primarily sci-fi, but I also write poetry and short stories in multiple genres. And this month I am posting a video every day on my channel. I'm documenting where I stand and where I want to go in the future. Thank you. Good. Good for you. That is so awesome. Speaking of awesome, Amy, awesome buddy. Would you like, oh, did I just mute you? I meant to unmute you, but you were muting yourself. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I am Amy, awesome buddy. I'm an SEO consultant who did SEO stuff all day. So thank you for these productivity sprints and I look forward to next time. Very nice. Okay, CEO Sav, we're so glad you're here today, Amy. CEO Savvy says, Savvy, all of the sprints of the sleepover for, should be 20 minutes and 21 seconds. Oh, that's order. a great <laughs> idea. If I, anyone's made a timer for 20 minutes and 21 seconds, let me know. I'll do it. Uh, I will do it. Yes. Yay. Okay, we will do that. Thank you for the suggestion. Very, very nice. I can't remember because I went out of order. Carol, did you do your outro? No, I just sat here and looked pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are so uh, good at that. All right, go ahead. Do your outro, please, darling. Hi, my name is Kara Brown. I'm an urban fantasy author and the owner of Mad Raptor Productions. I came here today to work on uh, the first round of revisions for, like you can see it, um, for fine print. And I got all the way up to page 61 of highlighting dialogue. And I consider that pretty good progress today. Awesome. Congratulations. Very nice job. Well, thank you all so much for being here. I'm Lisa Daly. This is my channel. I'm a traditionally published author. And on my channel, we talk about how to write a book you're super proud of and get it published. So I thank you for all being here today. And happy 2021. All right, everybody. Michael says, thanks and bye. And I think that's an awesome way for us to go out. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being here. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.